So next up, what the heck are NFTs? Non-fungible tokens, I didn't really get it. I, I didn't really understand uh, you know, how it all worked and everything else. So I just had to create one. And actually I had talked about this over the weekend and one of uh, my subscribers, he said, Rob, you just don't get it. He goes, take um, uh, Gronkowski from the, uh, well, what was the Patriots and now the Buccaneers. So what he did was instead of, you know, going to like a, a football card company and saying, hey, I want to put my likeness on cards and then people can buy my football card and then you guys can take 99% and I'll get, I'll get a percentage. What Gronk did is he goes, you know what? I'm just going to create a non-fungible token of myself as a football uh, on a football playing card and whoever uh, wants to buy it can own it digitally and that's it. So you totally do what cryptocurrency digital assets are supposed to do, which is cut out the middleman entirely. And then he's selling those things like hotcakes. And I'm like, hmm, how the heck does that work? So this is what I did. I went back and one of my first videos that I ever did, and uh, I just was talking about China uh, again, how you know this, this uh, little FUD uh, happened where they're like, we don't like Bitcoin, but we love blockchain. So this came about and I said, you know what? I'm going to see if I can just sell this. So I went to this place called OpenSea, OpenSea dot, what is it? OpenSea.io. And I said, okay, I just took the uh, thumbnail and I uploaded it and I said, okay, um, this, and I just gave a stupid description of it. And uh, in like half an hour, uh, I got an offer for 0 0.01 uh, wrapped ETH, W ETH for like 17 bucks. And uh, that's it. I can't accept this offer because I don't think this is worth anything. And I'm going to tell Ravs here, just, you know, don't buy it because, you know, just spend your money on something that's worthwhile, like Voyager or Cardano or V chain or something like that. Don't buy this is goofy. And I just want to see if it would actually, you know, happen. And I don't know how many other offers I have. I think I only have one right now, but still it's kind of, it's just kind of a little goofy that you can do these types of things and people are buying it, but they don't know what they're buying. It's just, to me, I think it's just worthless. But that's just my opinion on what's going on. I think that there are, the NFTs will be huge, especially like we talked about with, with Engine Coin and those types of things. I mean, even like Unstoppable Domains, those are NFTs, uh, these domains that you're buying. But uh, for me, I kind of look at it like there's a big difference between going uh, to an, an art gallery, uh, let's say downtown New York, and going to the bargain bin at Walmart. They're both art. Right, just like there's, they're, they're, they're both NFTs here. Like this is an NFT, and the one that Beebles sold for like 70 million, or how much crazy it was. Uh, but for whatever reason, that is awesome, and this is trash. And I think it's the same thing of like art in general. Like I don't have the eye for it, so people look at it like this is great. I can, you know, it's amazing. I gotta buy this, sure. And but I think it's gonna be very few of those that actually have value. I think the majority are just gonna be in the bargain bin at a Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart type of thing, where it's just like, this is just trash. This is just a throwaway NFT, and that's just what it is. Obviously, you can't get an NFT at Walmart, I'm just saying. Uh, these things will just be like, you know, out in the open and uh, not that great. This is just how I see it. I also see this as uh, kind of like with cryptocurrency digital assets. I think there's gonna be uh, a good amount that'll make it, you know, 20, 30, 40, I don't know. But uh, the uh, 5,000 or so that we have, most are going away. And it's the same thing with NFTs. Now, the big question is, how do you find those? And for that, uh, I really have no answer. And uh, I'll tell you what I know, I'll tell you what I don't know. I have no idea about that one. I will say this, don't, don't buy on a secondary source like OpenSea uh, because those people have already bought someplace cheap and they've put it on there and they want you to buy their garbage. Not that it's all garbage. There's a lot of great stuff in there, I'm sure. I mean, whatever. But uh, I'm just saying, don't be caught up in this, this whole thing look for the ones that are, you know, just like, just like a digital asset. Don't look for ones that are already, you know, hundred thousand dollars or something like that. Go for a little bit lower and see if it has any kind of legs and go from there. If you, you know, if you buy a, an, an NFT for a hundred thousand and then it goes to 1000, well, then you're pretty screwed. But if you buy something for like five bucks or 10 bucks and it goes to zero, not a big deal. That's uh, that's the only advice that uh, I would give myself because I can't give financial advice. And that's the big thing. And speaking of NFTs, finally, uh, I trust <laughs> they're, they're giving away an, an NFT. And uh, Anthony, he, he sent this to me and I was like, I don't know what this what this is, man. And he goes, he goes, well, it's this NFT. We're going to give away and then people are going to win, you know, a free for life. Uh, I trust account. I trust is the uh, crypto IRA that I use. And I was like, I still don't understand what I don't get. 
the whole thing. He goes, okay, well, I'll come on your show and explain it. So Anthony will be here on Friday to explain what the heck this is all going on. It's just a giveaway. I'm sure it's cool. I mean, these guys do good things. I love them. And uh, that is it. So, so look, uh, first of all, thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end. If you like these types of videos, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That helps tremendously. Also consider subscribing because uh, all these videos we talk about are very time sensitive, like we just talked about uh, a little bit ago. Also, if you wanna take a look at iTrust, there's a link in the description. That is the crypto IRA that I'm using, and that's where I'm going to be paying uh, no taxes as everything appreciates. So uh, there are some there are some nuances. So I did a video, it's about 20 minutes long. You can watch that. I'll link it at the end or look in the description, and that is all. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one.